Hey everybody, welcome back to BK's Bullets. Today we're talking about Fables, Volume 16, Super Team. Hey everybody, welcome back to BK's Bullets. As always, I'm your host, Frank Casina, and today we're doing with Fables again, Super Team. This is Volume 16 in our ongoing Fables read through the 20th anniversary is this year 2022 so we are reading them all before the year ends uh that's kind of why we're on a fables kick here coming up um this one is fun i like this one so as we found out in the 100th issue we thought we had defeated mr dark and after bellflower had gone away you know Frau tutzenkinder said i'm done i'm out of here uh he kind of freed himself so he's still on the run so it's a little bit of a twist all the fables have retreated to haven where King Ambrose is, you know, the flycatcher, all that stuff. And so they're kind of devising their final plan on how to defeat Mr. Dark. And they're kind of all out of options. So ultimately, you have Pinocchio thinking that, well, you know, I've read all these comic books, and the super teams always get their greatest heroes together, and they battle the biggest villain, and they always win. So we should do the same thing. So they're kind of trying to assemble the same super team. You've got Ambrose in this armor. He's kind of like the Hulk here. You got Bigby Wolf as werewolf. You got Ozma doing the witch stuff. You've got Thumbelina. You've got uh, the Blue Brother Blue, the uh, little badger dude. I don't really remember what his power was. Beast is on the team, so they're just trying to assemble these heroes of Fable Town and you know assemble them in a smart way and have them kind of think about how they're going to fight Mr. Dark. Uh, and that's the majority of this. Like that thing I was showing in the middle was just Pinocchio's imagination of how this is going to go. How it actually goes, you don't really expect. Um, there's some things also in here. We're following up on the North Wind, Bigby's father, who's looking for this son or this grandson that he didn't know about that is a Zephyr, which apparently is a monstrosity in, in terms of winds. He's a mutant wind, and he's sworn to kill every single one. So he has this showdown with Bigby here where he's telling Bigby, like, hey, I know you said this one time, and I know I said this one time, so we're kind of at an impasse here. What are we going to do about it? Um, ultimately, that kind of resolves the Mr. Dork storyline, I think. Um, it was a little weird, and it was all of a sudden, and I'm like, wait, what? Um, so it kind of ended in a way I didn't expect. I'm not sure if I liked it or not. Ultimately, I'm glad we're, we're done with Mr. Dark after a few volumes and not dealing with him the same amount of time we dealt with Geppetto and all his shenanigans and things like that. Um, there is a last... Is it two issues? There's a last issue in here that's drawn by, um, gosh, what's his name? The guy, Terry Moore. And it's dealing with uh, the area in, in the Fables, one of the Fables world where the great emperor, like capital city was. And it's currently covered in thorns because Briar Rose, Sleeping Beauty is asleep somewhere. And you have these outsiders coming in and trying to make everybody princes and themselves emperors so that they can break this curse with true love's kiss from a prince and just this ingenious way of how all this is thwarted without them actually knowing about it uh, was a really, really fun tale. So it's like a meanwhile kind of tale at the end of our uh, super team Mr. Dark showdown. Um, there's some other things going on here with the nurse. Turns out she's pretty hot after all and she's got a, uh, she's got a score to settle which will come up in later volumes. So really really fun continuation of the fable storyline i enjoyed this one and uh i'm excited to see where this goes so let me know down below what you think of fables uh super team and we'll see you guys next time in the funny pages